If you think weapons today are scary, you should see what they used 100 years ago, 1000 years ago, or even 2000 years ago. Welcome back. Charlie here. These are the most scary and incredible weapons of all time. First we have to look at the Huacha. This weapon looks fairly modern, but it was made in 15th century Korea. Huacha translates roughly to fire cart, and from these videos you can understand why. Huachas can fire hundreds of rocket powered arrows, or iron bolts from gun barrels. The Huacha is one of the first rocket powered weapons of all time. In the 1590s, Japan tried to invade Korea. They did this as Japan eventually wanted to invade China too, and become the rulers of Asia. But when Japan tried to invade Korea, they were fought off by Huachas, forcing the Japanese to give up on their invasion. Hundreds of Huachas were deployed all over Korea, each of which could fire one or two hundred arrows at a time, allowing 3,000 Korean soldiers to defeat 30,000 Japanese soldiers. If it wasn't for Huachas, maybe Koreans would be speaking Japanese today. Moving on, we have to look at the Aru. Me. You may think you'd always want your sword to be strong and sturdy, but surprisingly that's not always the case. The Arumi was made in the Sangam period, originating in Kerala, India. The blade of these Arumis are very long and bendy. It's kind of like a mix between a sword and a whip. These swords are normally around 160 centimeters long. The blades are made from flexible steel. To work properly, the blade must be the same length as the arm span of the person using it. Sometimes multiple blades are even attached to one hand. Using the Arumi is one of the last things taught in Indian martial arts. It's incredibly hard to use, but once you master it, it's very deadly and is perfect for fighting multiple people at once. Now let's look at the Shotel. This ancient weapon comes from northern Ethiopia. It's an incredibly unique curved sword. It looks similar to a sickle used for farming, except the Shotel is much more deadly. The blade is normally around 100 centimeters in length. But why is this sword curved? Well, the shape allows you to reach around shields, targeting an enemy's kidneys or lungs. Moving on, let's look at the Bob Semple Tank. The Bob Semple tank is from World War II, and it's said to be the weirdest tank in history. The tank was designed by a New Zealand Prime Minister named Bob Semple. After France was invaded by Germany, allies had to think fast. So to make more tanks faster, they decided to combine tanks and tractors together. This would save time and money. The tanks were manned by eight crew members, and light machine guns were all around the tank, meaning this tank could attack and defend from every angle. It also moved at a surprising fast 13 miles per hour. They were used by the New Zealand army in case Japan ever invaded, but luckily for Kiwis, that day never came. But I wonder how Bob Semple tanks would have actually held up in a real battle situation. Next, let's look at the swinging mace. This weighted spiked ball was one of the most deadly weapons from the Vietnam War. It was used by the Viet Cong. These maces were attached to ropes and hung on trees. They would then be triggered by a tripwire. If anyone stood on the tripwire, then they would be impaled by this spiky ball. This was one of the Viet Cong's most brutal tactics. Many American troops fell victim to the swinging mace. When news of this booby trap began spreading around the army, the US troops were terrified. Some soldiers would even get scared seeing fruit growing in trees. That's because they mistakenly thought it might be a swinging mace. Moving along, let's look at the Archimedes Steam Cannon. Archimedes was a Greek mathematician and engineer. He lived in the city of Syracuse, but in the 3rd century BC, Syracuse was attacked. So Archimedes designed some very advanced weapons. Archimedes made various weapons, but his most famous was the steam cannon. The cannon was a large metal tube with one end placed into a furnace. When the temperature was hot enough, a projectile would be placed inside. Some water would be poured in and the projectile would then be fired. This cannon would damage any ships trying to attack Syracuse. Moving on, let's look at the Fliegerfaust. The Fliegerfaust was made by the German army during World War II. This was designed to be a rocket launcher for taking down enemy planes. Nine rockets could be kept inside. The rocket's range was designed to be around 500 meters. Four million of these were ordered, but only a few were ever made. Now I have to show you the Chu Konu. This ancient Chinese weapon is truly mind-blowing. 
It's basically a semi-automatic crossbow. It's unbelievable to think this weapon is nearly 2,000 years old. Various different arrows can be inserted at once, allowing arrows to be fired very rapidly. The range of these was impressive, at 120 to 180 meters, but it was mainly used as a defensive instead of offensive weapon. Next, let's take a look at the Chakram. This weapon is around 2,500 years old. It originated in India. It's a very sharp, circular weapon, designed to be thrown at enemies. These are made of steel, allowing them to be thrown around 60 meters. The inner edge is blunt, meaning you can whirl it around your finger or hand, but the outer edge is incredibly sharp, and could easily cut through cloth, skin, or even wood. Okay, now it's time to look at the Maquatl. The Maquatl was used by the Aztecs, and is from what is today Mexico. It's basically a wooden club with sharp spikes on it. These spikes were made from obsidian. Obsidian is a naturally forming volcanic rock. It is very strong and can be very sharp. This weapon is incredibly ancient. It's over 1,000 years old, but I still wouldn't want to be hit by one of these today. Finally, you have to see the Bagnark. The Bagnark is one of the most devious weapons I've ever seen. It originates in India and is inspired by a tiger's claws. It's similar to a knuckle duster, but instead there are spikes which can be hidden by your palm. These can easily slice through skin. Assassins used to add poison to the tips of these blades, meaning that after cutting someone with one of these, the poison would go into their bloodstream, eventually ending their life in one of the most brutal ways imaginable. Now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which of these weapons was the most incredible. If you want to see my short videos, check out my second channel. I've been Charlie, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.